First, what precisely is genetics? Genetics is the study of heredity, which means the study of why organisms look like their parents. But there's really much more to it than that. Because once upon a time, one would have thought that genetics was just one of the things that animals and plants did, like respire or feed or excrete. Now, however, we would see genetics as far more fundamental than that. So it would be better to say that animals and plants are things that genes use or DNA uses to propagate itself or propagate themselves. Genetics is the study of inheritance. The existence of biological inheritance is obvious from the resemblance of children to their parents. But just how are biological characteristics inherited? Make notes while you watch this next clip. For centuries, inheritance seemed like one of life's mysteries. Just how are characteristics like speed, size and color passed down from one generation to the next? In the last 50 years, genetics has revealed that all living things on our planet share the same chemical code, a recipe for life. Human beings, plants and animals have different ingredients, but the recipes are very similar. A third of the recipe for a human being is the same as that for a tree, and we share two-thirds of our recipe with frogs. The basic building block for all life is the cell. The tools it needs to carry out its work are inside. These organelles vary depending on whether the cell forms part of a leaf in a plant, the skin of an animal, or the brain of a human being. But amazingly, virtually every cell contains the recipe for the entire body. The recipe is spelled out in a chemical code. Each line in the recipe is a gene describing a particular characteristic. The chemical code is in the cell's nucleus on long curled up molecules called chromosomes. So genes carry the recipe for life. Each gene codes for or describes a particular characteristic. They occupy a specific place called a locus on a chromosome. What's more, genes can come in more than one form. The particular form a gene takes is called an allele. The particular set of alleles an organism possesses is its genotype or genetic makeup. And the observable characteristics of an organism are referred to as its phenotype. Many characteristics of an organism are controlled by its genes. Genes do two distinct things. They code for proteins and by doing so control almost everything that happens in the cell during the growth and life of the organism. The second thing genes do is get passed on from one generation to the next or from one cell to the next. These two important features of genes are possible because of the special properties of the material from which genes are made. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. The DNA that is found in everything from bacteria to humans is a very, very long molecule. Not too impressive like this, is it? But if I could unravel all the DNA in my body and stretch it out, it would reach to the sun and back over a hundred times. But it's not just how long and thin it is that makes DNA remarkable. It's what it contains, and that's information. DNA carries all the information to make everything alive. These instructions are written in a code that uses the four chemicals it's made of. These chemicals are known by their initials, T, A, G, and C. And now it becomes clear why DNA is so long. It takes a vast number of letters to spell out a living thing. To get a sense of how many, we printed out on paper all the A's, T's, G's, and C's needed to build and operate a human being. This page has 3,000 letters on it. And this drawer has over 50,000 pages in it.
and it's only one drawer in what is, in effect, an immense archive of information. It contains, all told, some two million pages and some six billion letters. All this to spell out you or me. Every cell in our bodies has this entire set of instructions packed away in it, written in long strands of DNA. But DNA doesn't just spell out people. It spells out every living organism that has ever lived, even those that have become extinct. DNA doesn't just carry life's instructions, it also passes them on. The spiral unwinds, and each of its two strands is used as the template for new DNA. These instructions are copied time and time again, and so get handed on to the young of every new generation. In this way, life has been continuing from the time when bacteria ruled the world. Only now has it become possible to decipher those instructions, held secret for so long in the DNA. The instructions are carried in the order of the letters. This page, for instance, spells out the message to make the material of my fingernails. It's a gene, and there are genes 